Hello, I am the Makeup Maven. Welcome back to my channel. And when I say welcome back, I mean like welcome back because I have been gone a long time. I didn't intend on that. I went on vacation. I was gone for 10 days. I thought maybe I would be able to um, do some videos from the cruise ship, but the waters were really rough between, I think between Portland, Maine and between there and Nova Scotia, it was just really rough, rough waters. Um, so didn't pull the camera out, kind of stayed in my room a lot, took some Dramamine. I'm a big cruiser, love cruising, but those waters, whew, let me tell you, that was no joke. So it has obviously been a hot minute since I have been on camera, but I am back. Welcome back to today's video. It is Sunday and I am putting on makeup just for y'all because most of you know, I don't usually put makeup on on Sundays. It's usually my day to let my skin rest, but I was at Walmart earlier doing my grocery shopping and you know, your girl's got to go and look and see what's going on in the makeup world. And I just have to say, it's almost Halloween, so I have trick-or-treat goodies. Now, no, I'm not handing this out to poor, unsuspecting children who think they're going to get something really good. Um, of course, you know, if some of them are little divas, then they would be getting something good. So, when I was out at Walmart today, I found a whole bunch of Wet n' Wild makeup in the Halloween section not in the makeup section. As a matter of fact, they were on opposite sides of the store. I walk into my Walmart and the makeup is over here and the costumes and everything were way on the other side and that's where the wet and wild stuff was. Now, some of it had been picked over quite a bit and of course, you know, you pass by the, the kits that say, you know, make yourself a ghost, make yourself a clown, make yourself a witch. Those are like oil-based face paints. Um, so this is actually marketed as makeup that you are supposed to use for Halloween. So right this minute, the only thing that I have done, I've gone on and put my base on. I used the um, Becca um, First Light Priming, Priming Filter, yeah. So use that to give myself a little bit of a glow. Then I followed it up with the Revlon Photo Ready BB Cream, just because I didn't want a whole lot of foundation on my face. Um, obviously followed that up with my Tarte Shape Tape just to give me some um, concealer because, you know, got some bags going on up under my eyes and I needed that. Set it with my Cody Airspun using my Walmart Beauty Blender. And then I did go ahead and put some blush on, and this is BH Cosmetics Floral Blush. Um, so that, this is the only thing that I have on right this minute. I woke up this morning, I put on my Bucky shirt. Woohoo, shout out to Texas. Um, so, and then some of the things that I picked up from the store, I thought, hey, well, you know, I'm already wearing this and I'm already in purple, so let's just play with it and see what we're going to come up with. So the first thing that I picked up um, is the Wet n Wild, it's called Not a Basic Peach Palette. Now, I don't really understand why this was in the Halloween section. I mean, it was a whole display with four sides on it. And it had several different palettes. I only picked up this one. I didn't need the other one. Kind of gotten to where I have to pare down a little bit with my makeup collection. So I don't really understand why this, because this just looks like a normal eyeshadow palette. So I'm not really sure why that was over there in that section. Um, then I picked up the Wet n Wild Paint Palette. Now that definitely looked way more promising to me. So I'll show you the colors. And just because I wanted to make things easier when I was taping, I did go on and cut off the seals for everything. Everything was already sealed, but just so I could open it up. And as I flipped this one over, it actually says, not for use around eyes. Now, I thought this was like, an eyeshadow palette. So, I mean, not, obviously not the same kind of palette as this one. I thought this was like a paint palette, um, and I got news for you. I'm putting it around my eyes. 
So disclaimer, I'm not going to sue Wet n Wild if I should go blind or if it should stain me. That's probably mostly what it might do. Um, but I don't really understand why it says not for use around your eyes. But anyway, we'll get into that in a minute. And then I got a hold of an eyeliner. Well, actually, it's a Wet n Wild and it says it's a multi-stick. So I guess you could use it pretty much for anything that you wanted to. I was going to put it up under my eyes, um, but now I have decided not to because I am going with a whole purple theme. So I will keep this around to try for a different day. Um, I got a bright purple lipstick. This is Liquid Cat Suit. So, and it is just exactly the color that's in here. So woohoo, purple. And then I got this one that didn't have any kind of color. I couldn't see through it. I couldn't tell what it was, but it has a picture of a unicorn on it. So when I opened it up, I did discover that it's just an iridescent stick. So I'm thinking it's going to do something, um, put some kind of shine after I put on the liquid cat suit. And then last in my little collection, I had read something about this online. This is the Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder. So this is a highlighter, but it looks like it's a gray highlighter. And you probably can't see it, but it's got a skull embossed on it and it's really I don't know if it's picking up or not I don't think that it is maybe you can see it so I had read about this one it kind of gives you like a zombie look going on um, but you can also use it as an eyeshadow as well but I'm gonna put it on my cheeks when I get done so let's just go on and jump into this video. The only thing that I am going to use on my face that I have not put on yet and I have not mentioned um, is my Urban Decay Subversion um, Lash Primer. And the only reason I'm using this one versus one of the other ones that's hanging around is because it goes on white. So I'm thinking it might make that purple mascara jump a little bit. Did I not mention the purple mascara? Okay purple mascara. So in the 80s, yes, I'm a child of the 80s. In the 80s, they had colored mascaras. I don't know if y'all remember those, and they weren't so great. I mean, if you walked around and said, oh, I have on purple mascara, you'd have to be like, oh, well, turn your head and get in the light a little bit. Oh, okay, there it is. So I don't know if that's still the way that the colored mascaras are these days. Um, let me open this one up and see. Let's see what it looks like. Let's open up the tube and see if it's a shocking color. Well, we'll see. But anyway, I thought maybe we would get more color off of it if I went on and put on the white subversion um, lash primer first. So without further ado, Let's go on and get started. I'm going to take the palette and I'm going to grab a brush and I'm going to hit one of these transition shades. Let's see. Oh, really? Well, that figures. It's got a sticker at the other end, too. I tried to be sneaky and beat the system. And Wet n Wild is like, surprise, 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 surprise. Okay. Well, I bet I do open it now. <laughs> Make sure there's not any more stickers on it. All right. There we go. All right. So this is what it looks like. Um, I am going to go in with, hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. I don't think they're named. Nope, it's not named. So I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. I do have a mirror right here. Um, so if you're wondering why I'm looking off, that's the reason.
Okay, I'm thinking it's not a whole lot different than my skin color or else I got way too much excess off on it. Let's see. My bangs are in my way. Y'all know I hate having my bangs in my way. Okay. Just back and forth blending motions. It's a transition shade. Yeah. Got more on that one than I do the other one. It's like there was nothing there on this one. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Well, I just wanted a little bit of color anyway, because what I'm going to do now is open up the paint that says don't get it near your eyes. And yeah, well, who thinks I'm not going to get it near my eyes? <laughs> I'm going to. All right, so do I want to go in with the silver first and then the purple? Eh, sure. Well, I don't know. Should we? Let's go in with the purple first. I'm just using my fingertips. Feels kind of like the consistency of a grease paint. Let's see. Well, it's creamy. Now keep in mind, I'm not trying to make like a costume or anything. I'm not, that's not what this is about. This is about makeup that's geared towards Halloween that you can actually, I mean, I guess if you wanted to put on a million coats of this, and especially if you had on some kind of white paint or, or yeah, white paint makeup. Okay. That's a little bit too light, so I'm going to go in and add some more. Oh, yeah. You can layer it nicely. Okay, that's not bad. Go on and add another coat over here. Okay. All right, so let's grab one of my wipes. I always have makeup wipes. And the good news is my skin's not burning. <laughs> you, you never know why it says don't use near your eyes. Like, what else would you do with this? I mean, it's going on so light. I'm like, seriously, what else would I do with it? I don't even know. All right, so now I'm going to take some of the silver and I'm just going to kind of highlight it right in the middle like a halo effect. There we go. Silver because I'm wearing, you know, purple and silver, so... Okay, just to kind of give it a halo effect. Let's see. All right, now I'm gonna, you know, I'm looking around for something that might actually show up as purple. Let's see if one of my palettes has like a true purple on it or a much bigger or a much darker blue. All right, let's go in with this one. This is my Natasha Denona palette. I am going to spritz my gonna spritz my um, brush. This is a technique called foiling. So I'm gonna spritz my brush and I'm going to go in with this. Let's go in with the, the purple. See if it'll show up up under my eyes. Okay, so that shows up. Okay, 
not have not unhappy with that so foiling is when you take a setting spray and wet down one of your brushes and then dip it into your eyeshadow and it gives you a much um, vibrant much more vibrant look about it okay so this is still looking kind of mild let me grab let's see let's grab a black eyeliner Let's try the Wet n Wild. This is peach. Kind of offsets it a little bit. All right, let's go in with my Subversion Eye Primer. I'm gonna have to pull the mirror closer so if it looks like I'm getting off camera. Just want something to make that purple mascara really pop. All right, let's go in with the purple mascara. Okay, I'm not going to say that this is like super de duper, super electronic purple. Eh, not seeing a whole lot of, you know, that bright purple that you want. Not seeing a lot of that come off with this. Not really a lot at all. I mean, seriously. Is there any? Y'all, I brushed this on the back of my hand. I don't see nothing. Really? Really? Come on. That's it. That. Mm. This is a piece of crap. That's just enough to tick you off. Well, okay, moving on. Let's try the purple lipstick. Okay, well that's got some payoff. Okay, I'm feeling like feeling like definitely should have had on um, a liner. Doesn't cover that up too great. So, and it dried down matte really, really fast. I mean, like. It's really tacky to the touch right this minute. All right, let's go on and add in our Mega Last Iridescent Lip Color and see what difference that makes. Holy crap. See the difference between the top and the bottom? That made a huge difference. Okay, 
well now I'm a sparkling purple, whatever I am, right this second, ticked off at this mascara. Okay, last but not least, let's get out the highlighting brush, and let's see what happens when I put on the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. Cause I'm telling y'all, this is kind of spooky looking. Am I gonna look like a zombie? Let's see. Just a little bit of highlight. Might be hitting the zombies, y'all. Okay, from my mirror, I really can't see that it's done anything except make me look like I just put dirt all, <laughs> all over my face. All right, so I guess I got the zombie grape looking thing going on right now. My bangs are all in my face and won't get out. Um, yeah, this... I'm definitely going to use this as uh, an eyeshadow. I can definitely see where this would be straight up Halloween costume, anything like that, if you were going to do anything with it other than use it as some type of eyeshadow. So that is my opinion on that. I'm not mad at the lipstick. I could have done a better job putting it on. Loving the iridescent little bit to it would like to see what this was going to happen to anything else that i try to put on my lips not a fan of the orange eyeshadow or the eye well it's a multi-stick whatever you want to do with it i'm not real happy with that um and the mascara please please don't go you know wet and wild's not even an expensive brand don't go waste your buck 99 with that because that's just nothing other than that, the paint, really don't know why you're not supposed to put it next to your eyes because I don't know what else you would do with it. It's, I mean, you saw I went in twice and then I went in once with the silver and I mean, what payoff did I get? What else would you do with this? I don't, I don't understand. I can understand Wet n Wild wanting to get into the Halloween makeup market, but I don't understand this at all. This, however, Wet n Wild palettes, their straight up eyeshadow palettes, are amazing. For like $3.99, you cannot go wrong with these palettes. So I'm actually eager to play with this one a little bit more. So trust me if you want to go on and hit that just to get maybe a different selection of palettes that they don't have over in the makeup department, absolutely go for it. Um, wet and wild, not really sure that y'all should have stayed outside of your comfort zone. Um, cause yeah, I mean, this isn't a daytime look that I could wear. This is not a nighttime look and it's not even a really costume. It just looks kind of sad. So that's my opinion about their line. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will be here either later on in the week or I will be back next week and we're going to get right back on schedule. So go out and enjoy the rest of your Sunday and I will talk to you all later. Bye.